I guess we're playing the Yang phase now. Okay. That happened. I was not expecting that abrupt of a uh, transition, but here we are. Right on. So this is the Lord's Manor. I guess we're playing as what's her face now. Be summoned at the same time. Hmm. It's been a month since Lord Fujiwara disappeared. Is we that motherfucking Chaozu the right there with a top hat? Have failed to leave. True, but that is nothing for us to be concerned about. They're only demons. Our master's skills will disperse them promptly. Did this man just arrive at the front door of this place and say, master. Oh, it's only demons. <laughs> Sakuya. Why have Sakuya, you that's her name. Gotcha. I understand that this investigation concerns Lord Fujiwara. His manor is infested with demons, which astrologers can't exercise. I would assume this is like a flashback or something, we... because holy shit, the filtering Enough. is kind of I weird. I passed my knowledge and skills on to you. You're not a student of Abe no Sime, the incompetent. Fear not. Now go, child. Wait, wasn't he just writing a note to Sime? Or is that just his skill name is Sakuya. Abe no Seime? Hey, Sakuya. Is it named after that guy then? The elder who he was writing to? Huh. Oh. Come on, let's go in. Although we don't even have shoes. That is a bold move, Cotton. Like F and A. That would suck ass if you step on a rock or something. It just gets driven right into your foot. What you got to say, Chaozu? The elder disciples are gone. Wow. Nice input. You're about as useful as freaking Yamcha here. Well, I guess we'll just kind of go and collect some stuff. Or no shoe have an ass. Oh, we're gonna get the whole spiel again because it thinks we restarted. Because we can start on either one. Oh, hi, what? Oh. Tempest, some areas have large amounts of. Yeah, we've read this. Vertigo, yeah, yeah, yada, yada. Ow. These cards are used to cast magic spells. Each card has be, can be used only once. Well, fuck off. I wonder if she's like better with magic because she's the one that kind of showed us how to do it. I would assume she's better at magic anyways. Also, I tried for the life of me to look up what Sutegumo means, and literally all I could find was like waste spider, or if I translated from Chinese, it made much more sense. It was, it said house spider, which I get that Japan borrows a lot of kanji and stuff from Chinese, so it might just be house spider, but for the life of me, I could not get that shit to translate in a way that was just easy. And Hibari, which that one was much easier. It's just fiery needle or scarlet piercing, whatever. It's a little bit easier. Flute makes beautiful sounds. La la la. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Okay. That's cool. Do we have a map? No, we don't. So we're up shit creek without a paddle and without a map. Okay. You want to run that one by me again? Was there just a woman with a B-Wa sitting there? At least I assume it's a B-Wa. I'm not entirely good with Japanese instruments, but I'd go with Shamisen or b -wa. I'm just going to say b -wa. 
again, not out of ignorance. I know the instrument exists, but holy shit, can I not even remotely know what they are. The manor and Lord Fujiwara are doomed, but his daughter must be saved. I saw Lord Lady Fujiwara at the temple. I wonder how she is now. Well, you know, I want to say she's probably dead. Oh, hey, it's the food dog again. At least I still kind of need to look up what they're called exactly. I know there's something different. They're like lion dogs, but I think it's Chinese as foo dog, but Japan might call them something different. I'll need to look it up exactly, but yeah, I'm just used to calling them foo dogs. I know they're like lion dogs or that's the main idea is they're like door guardian dogs that happen to be lion and dog. So I'm not completely out of my or off my rocker for that one. Oh, good. Let me just track through blood. It's fine. I'm just going to hope there's no cuts on my feet or anything. I would assume eventually we have to meet up with, uh, what's her face? Because we meet up with her a few times during her phase. The wall is covered in blood. Looks like something is written. My blood. My blood. My brand. What fun. What fun. Right on. Not sure if I'd agree with it, but hey, you do whatever you want with your own blood. It's your blood. Seal Venus has been placed on the door. So I guess we know how that opens then. Do I just have like a talisman light? Or is this like an incense burner? Like what exactly is this? Oh, hey, what's up? You got a seal over there? Also, damn, why you look like an anime protagonist? The seal, Mercury, has been placed here. You... You do remember how to remove such a seal. Yeah, I just get a bloody ass cloth and just push it against blood -stained it. Blood-stained scared cloth to the seal. <laughs> blood-stained scared time. cloth. <laughs> a seal can't be removed unless both a seal uh, and sacred cloth. Scared cloth. <laughs> <Well, laughs> Why is that misspelled every time? Sure you'll figure it out. See, yes, just use a scared cloth. Even I can be nice to my little sisters sometimes. Oh, thanks, Broski. Sacred Cloth Mercury. Yep, we already know that one anyways. Can I, like, go in here too? Is he gonna, like, die whenever we get in here? I assume something terrible is probably going to happen to him. Like, let's be real. Something horrible always happens to the sibling. Especially after they just did something nice. So he's probably going to be like, Oh, I'm dying. Please stop all of my blood. He punched out all of my blood. Or something like that. Go on ahead. See if you can find anything else. Man, why do you get shoes? Why don't I get shoes? Like, what the fuck? I want shoes. Why does everyone else get damn shoes? Or, you know, at the bare least, sandals. Or whatever the particular wooden shoes are called in Japan. I forget the name. It's escaping me. There is just a long-haired lady up on the roof there. Okay. Well. And the twins running that way. What is happening? Is this where the four floor breaks? Because this broke before. Yeah, I'm gonna go see what happened with the twins real quick. See what they're doing. Little shitheads. Yeah, the floor was broken there before, so I can only assume that probably breaks later whenever we're doing stuff. Where'd you go? I'm coming to get you. Oh, Timmy, I respect your <laughs> your privacy by being gods, but I'm coming in anyway. What do we got here? Is this just going to be the save point? 
Yeah, yeah, crouching, crouching, yada yada, blah blah. We already know about crouching. We'll just go ahead and do that. I guess this is just to show us the save point exists again. Oh, hey, Chao Tzu, what you doing? Perform the cleansing ritual regularly. Right. You can cleanse yourself by transferring and releasing toxins. Whatever you say, man. Locate a holy ground near water and cleanse yourself thoroughly. A clean soul is said to evade even death itself. Right on. Anyways, we're just going to go this way. Tell me to clean myself. I don't need to clean myself. Fuck off. Twinsies! What you pointing out? That door? Really, really blood-stained door. Got it. That's where we need to go. Also, why am I following orders from the damn... What you doing there, buddy? <laughs> you just, uh... Gonna be chilling there? Summon. These cards are used to summon forth servants spirits to do your bidding. Summoned creatures are mortal and their lifespan is displayed on the bottom right of this card. And anytime if you wish to dismiss a summoned creature, yeah, yeah, whatever. Come on out, Spider-Man. Get off of me. Oh, shit. Thought I already hit you. Uh. Thank you for the elixir. Yeah, yeah, meditate. I'm well aware of how this works. Anyways, carrying on. Banish demons and all evil spirits, she says. Sure, whatever you say. Okay, so the twins pointed out the door to us that we need to go to, so we're definitely going to go there. Is this puzzle still, like, need to be done, or do I save that for her later? Yeah, sure, I already know how this works. The door could be opened by solving the puzzle, involving correctly positioning the symbols. Yeah, yeah, yada, yada, we know that. Wow, it took me what? Three seconds? Hard ass puzzle. Damn, I'm good. Now give me that vessel. And this inspection report. March 17th, Seimei has ordered me to investigate the situation at Lord Fujiwara's manor starting today. Seimei's instructions were vague. First look for the spikes. If you see one, you may leave the premises. March 18th, I found someone who knows about the spikes. He claims to be the elder priest of the shrine. I learned that in ancient times, this shrine was de dedicated to a mulberry tree which has three spikes in its trunk. I will go and visit the tree tomorrow. March 19th. I visited the tree today. I saw the holes where the spikes had been, but no spikes were there. Spikes are used to confine evil. I wonder what horrible evil they were trying to confine, or even worse, what has been released. Oh, so the spikes came out of the tree and that let out the little shitheads. And I recall the thing talking about the guy pinning the demon to the wall. So that's probably what happened there. Is something gonna attack me when I pick the, you know what, fuck it, I don't care. Spell card, Sinin Seca. Powerful spell piercing an enemy with icy shards. So it's, okay. Wow, that was a hitbox. 
I yeah I know how these work that was a fucking hitbox alright oh she uses fans okay like god damn that man just slapped the air so hard he knocked the wind out of me impressive it's gonna happen whenever I go in here it's gonna be like hi hey, death because those twins are assholes. And obviously, they pointed out. Well, goddamn. Hello to you, too. Getting all up in the camera. Come on. Fucking fan your ass to death. Come here. She doesn't have a combo system like what's her face, so. I don't think so, anyways. And now uh, her fans are weaker, so she probably gets more powerful spells. There's a half-eaten corpse in the wicker chest. Maybe that's the difference between the two of them. She gets stronger spells, but she doesn't have a combo. Which would make Shall sense. You? And just kind of work. Yes, it is I. Sakuya. Hey, Your sister, I think. You Were you my door? brother? I can't tell until I see the face. Hmm. A yeah, that. Chest here. Yeah, no, this is probably like our dad or something. What you gotta say about this, daddy -o? Away, you? Fuck you too, okay. <laughs> like, Jesus. Something appears to have been dragged through here. Well... Guess I'll go that way then. This door won't open this time. Guess I'll go this way then. Door seal was recently broken. Guess I'll go in here then. What could possibly go wrong? Everything you say? Sure, that's fine. Or anything down here this time, or is it just gonna be me, myself, and I? Cutscene! So I'm gonna try and grab me in it again? It's gonna be like, hello, it's a hand. Yeah, I remember this from last time. Nothing happened. Also, God, it has to feel like shit walking around in all of this blood with no shoes. Like, ugh, ugh. Imagine going to like a homicide scene and just having no shoes on, like you would feel terrible. It's like squishing everything under your feet and feel nasty as fuck. Fujiwara's letter. Letter sent to Fujiwara by a noble. Since you mentioned strange happenings at your manor, I have directed a seer. An seer? I have directed a seer of my acquaintance to visit you. He's a disciple of Abe no Seime. The renowned noble seer. I'm sure you'll, he'll be able to help you. Recently, a renegade seer named Domon has been boasting about his powers. He has powerful disciples and claims to be Abe no Seime's equal, but he has strayed from the true, the, from the seer's true path and cannot be compared. Oh, so Domon is kind of a, well, dick. I mean, obviously, but. Okay, this door's creaking, so we're just gonna follow the sign and go ahead and go in. Spiders! Fantastic! Die, 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 die. You are no match for me. Also, still disgusting. What you got for me this time? More spiders? That's cool. Bloodstained Cloth Venus. Neat! Die, spiders! Die, die. <laughs> this girl's braver than me. I don't know if I'd go around crushing big ass spiders with my feet. Like, sup? <laughs> like, that's fucking nasty. It's gross. Hope you at least wash those things after you're done here. I'd feel like washing them every time I go to the damn creek. Like, in the middle of this thing, I'd just be sending that boat down the river and also 
starts dunking my feet in every time. Get that nasty shit off of them. What's in here this time? It's gonna be a dead guy, isn't it? Wait, last time it was like a meatball. Whatever the fuck that was. Yeah, a meatball. That thing. Oh, she does have a combo attack. Hers is just like way later. So whenever she cocks the fan back, she she can do a second attack. Okay. And you aren't dead, so. Oh, she steps on it. That's just. <laughs> That's fucking gross. This girl's feet gonna be fucking nasty. Like, why? Why did she have to? Why? Why didn't she just stab it with the fan, or punch it to death, or something? Yeah, whatever. I guess my feet are already covered in blood and guts and every form of ass known to man. So why not just step on that thing? Okay, so we have a level 2 seal now. We can get in the quarters. I guess I can go ahead and check this way first, though. I guess. Fuck it, it's this way. Look, a dead guy. You never see that. Also, that must be what happened. He got dragged around there. Or maybe I fight him. Or something else in between. I did say that it looked kind of weird that he, like, got dragged out from under the house or something, so... Guess that's possible. Seal must not be removed. The creature in there is not a gaki. See, that's what you said last time, and then I fought the Lord Fujiwara guy, and I just absolutely destroyed his ass, so I don't care. He in. And the Chinese Zodiac. Yeah, I already know how these work. Which I assume that is to tell me about the lights puzzle, which isn't really necessary in the slightest, if I'm going to be honest. Like, there is literal zero point in that explanation existing, because why? Servant's Memorandum, memorandum written by a servant concerning Ayako. Terrified of the demons that come out at night, Ayako sobs. Shut up in her room, she weeps silently. She believes the demons won't notice her if she hides in her room and doesn't make a sound. Miss Ayako will open the door only when Lady Fujiwara rings the bell brought from the North Pavilion. Ayako is as beautiful as an angel. We servants have vowed to protect her no matter the cost. So we're getting the same story beat spiel as the last time, and then I opened this door and something tried to murder me, so... Let's go! Wow. That was quite a range. Oh no! I'm experiencing vertigo! Hang on. Okay, listen here, assholes. She has a hell of a wind-up on the second fan hit. Hers also has like a little bit more of a strict timing. But hers also has a wider range, so she hits more stuff. She's got like a bigger arc to her hit. And neither of these guys are dead, so we're just gonna fall to solve that problem right here. Yeah, get kicked, boy. And you eat dicks. So, we're good. Hmm. Looks like somebody pushed this over already. Let's just. What you gotta say there, flyy boy? Suck fans, asshole! Scared cloth. 
Yep, that's... That's a given at this point. Pretty soon there's gonna be a scared girl here. Ah! It's a human! Yeah, I, I know, I agree. I'm pretty scared of those two. Antisocial? I take it. Yeah. Same. Yako's letter, lady from... Letter from Lady Fujiwara to her daughter. Dear Ayako, I am going to the temple because the manor is in danger. If it's safe there, I will come to get you. Until I signal you by ringing the bell, do not open the door. If I haven't returned in ten days, gather up the wooden disc and spikes and proceed to the temple. Yep, been there, done that. We know about that shit. Let's go. Morhibari. Perfect. Haha, -ha, you didn't catch me while I was running. Dick. I was back here again. Oh, yeah. I don't need to really worry about it. Well, it is the new chapter, so there might be something back here, but at the same time... Yeah, I remember that happening twice. Like, ah, dead guy. I never see those, even though I've been walking in literal blood everywhere. Like it's something new. Yeah, and then there was the hole in the wall where we get to watch the one lady crawling out from under the drawer for some reason. Really weird. Pierce through the small hole in the wall. Yeah, yeah, change point of view, got it, got it. Look! It's that lady! What you doing in there? <laughs> And we don't have the three seal anyway, so I'm not worried about it. We do know about that one puzzle, though, that is currently in the uh, constellation room. I keep wanting to say consolation room, but that's not right. Like, if it's any consolation, I'd rather not say consolation. But yeah, the constellation room is where we need to go. Because that will give us the uh, spiky remover tooly thingy majig, whatever the hell you want to call it. And I believe the foo dog slash lion dog is currently. I'm just going to grab this. Dochin's Writings, Volume 1, written by Dochin in his distinctive handwriting. I need to pass by the front of the main building, but there are gakis lurking there. That's why I'm afraid to go there. In any case, to avoid a needless struggle with the gakis, I must avoid being seen by them. I can use the corpse under the eaves as a decoy. Since the gakis are attracted by blood, they'll start devouring the corpse right away. Maybe then they won't notice me. I'm so smart I surprise myself sometimes. Soon I'll be as famous as Master Domon. Right. Well, you keep thinking that whenever your ass is dead. You just kind of gonna chill here? Putrid odor from the corpse permeates the air. Okay, well, you have fun there. Even though I'm pretty sure I could just, like, step on you or kill you while you're down. That would make more sense, but... Whatever... We're in this for the long run. Here's the other dog. Yeah. Okay, vessel. This, we can literally just listen to it. Which, if I remember right... Yeah, yeah. Open the door. Rotate the thing. If I remember right, it was something like... This? Or was it this? Nah. Nah. No, wait, it was two triangles. But I had trouble finding the triangles. I think they're right here. And then this lines up with the two drapes. The two squares with the hat right here on the bottom lines up with that. And then the arrow lines up with the left. 
damn, I'm good. Kind of surprised I remember that off the top of my head, honestly. Bug off me. Her combo is a little harder to hit, but I do appreciate that it's harder to hit in that it does more AoE. Like, it's not just she gets it for free kind of thing. And you're dead. What's in the box? Dust. Inspection Report Volume 2. March 21st, I asked the Elder Priest if anything unusual had occurred at the manor. He was kind enough to answer my questions. A long time ago, a demon appeared on the road to the west of the manor. The Elder Priest himself blocked the road within a sacred rope to keep the demon out. The Elder Priest seems to know a bit about astrology. He is very wise and his demeanor is calming. He seems far superior to the lazy astrologers we encounter so often. Once this mission is completed, it might be a good idea to recommend him to Seime. March 22nd. I went to see the sacred rope for myself. Is it possible that a mere human was capable of sealing out a demon? Such skills may even equal those of Master Seime. March 24th. I went to Lord Fujiwara's quarters to ask him about the Elder Priests, but his servants said they hadn't seen him since morning. Where could he have gone? Yeah, I'm gonna go with Bud is dead. Also, that dude is making a hilarious face down there. And more Sutegumo. Then we got this, so we can go to the quarters, remove the plier. Yada yada yada. We're kind of sequence breaking, but at the same time, we've already learned all of this stuff, so we don't really need to go through all the trouble of, you know, fucking with all that other shit. At least it doesn't make a whole lot of sense to because it just gives us the puzzle answers. You're actually dead or gonna stand up. No, you're just gonna block the path. Be a dick. Got it. Guess we can just go ahead and run a little bit. Although I was reading in the manual that if you run too much, then you actually go into vertigo automatically which sucks ass so i don't want to go running everywhere because it actually lowers our stamina to begin with it's kind of shitty but whatever what's you doing over there <laughs> and just chilling okay Yeah, and he threw the guy down there for the corpse. That's what happened. He, that man is eating nothing currently. Okay, whatever. He can enjoy his invisible man, which I do not care. That is all him. So, now we need to go to the quarters. Actually, hang on. Where's the... Food dog room again, exactly right here. Okay, so we're gonna pass by it on our way, anyways. Which is good. And there's just still a dead guy down there because his feet are currently sticking out. I do appreciate the atmosphere in this game and the like overall aesthetic and scenery it's very nice like spooky very good hibari a classic spell let's go ahead and put the foo dogs in here at both sides of the altar are plinths with on which something is kept Seems to be some sort of device involved. Well, that's just fine and dandy because we have these. And two. Boom. Now open. The 
altar door opened. There's something inside. Damn right there is. Old disc. Big Dipper map. We totally need that Big Dipper map. No, we don't. <laughs> Still not entirely sure what the Big Dipper map is for exactly. Like, it's cool and all, but... Like, I don't know. It just feels weird. It didn't feel like it really helped as much as it could have. We can go ahead over to the quarters. Open that bad boy up. And then pull the spike out of the wall. Scared cloth. Make sure to always use your scared cloths. Also, I did forget to mention, but I am using an HD replacement uh, for textures. I'd forgotten that I'd put it in here, but yeah, I'll probably just link that down below. Because uh, somebody actually went through the effort to HD this game and it it's pretty nice. So I'll go ahead and put that in the description somewhere, but then people can use it themselves. And it also gives the guy credit. And I don't like to not give credit to the guys that help out with this stuff. Let's see, the spike was used to suppress the Gaki. Do not remove it under any circumstances. Well, joke's on you because I can't read, even though I just did. But hey, fuck you, I'm doing it anyway. Now if I stand in the right place anyways. Hi, what's up? My name's Jared, I'm 19, and I've learned how to fucking read. Now let's pull the spike out so the gawky drops. Well, would you look at that? How dare you make me hit a wall. Okay, that might actually be problematic with how wide of a swing she has. <laughs> she kind of hits walls pretty badly. And he didn't drop any- oh, never mind, he did. I guess it just took a second. Yeah, yeah, let's just meditate. Get all of our stuff back, steal his dust. Sucker! And now we have the spike. We still need to get the other spike from Ayako though. But the one way is open now, so we can go ahead and check that out. That might be worth a check. Really don't want to run into vertigo. wonder if this floor is going to collapse at any point here because it was collapsed before. I know that for a fact. Stop hugging me. Back. <laughs> Bat ghost man. Something is lying amidst the furniture. Oh, hey. More ice spells. Is that really it? I mean, that's cool. They locked us off from the ice spells by collapsing the floor, which they'll probably do whenever we walk back. Yeah, like that. Back, evil spirits. I have a fan and I'm not afraid to use it. Okay, so what are we working with for our seals? Two, one, I think that's it. Yeah. So if we check on our map, three, three, there was a guy there. Uh, I guess we can, now we can't go to the mulberry tree. Not quite yet. We might be able to, well, I don't know exactly. Maybe we can go back to 
check on the broski, see what he's doing. And if that's not the case, then we might be able to go across the way to the Gaki, which cleared the body. So if it attacks us, that's just easier for us because it'll open up the path we need down. You in here, broski? No? Okay, well. Glad to see you left without me, dick. If it were me and my sister and I left her alone in this damn manner, she'd probably punch me in the face. Like, I'm just stating fact. <laughs> Let's be real. Like, she'd probably not go into the manor anyways, and my stupid ass probably would, and I'd be dead. Just be like, neat, old Japanese mansion that's haunted, let's go. <laughs> Meanwhile, she's the smart one in the horror movies and is like, no. You're going to die. I'm like, okay, well, here we go. <laughs> I would 100% be the first one dead in the horror movies. Because my dumb ass will probably be the first one to go into a place. Everyone and everything possible is just telling you, no, don't do it. I'm like, this could be some cool shit in there. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> like, who doesn't want to die? Wonder if he's going to come up here and attack me if I go this way. Yes, sir. And he moved the thing, so that's cool. That's exactly what we needed. Still trying to get the timing on her fan down exactly right. I think it's as soon as it cocks back. Like, whenever you see it whip behind her. And it goes to its full arc. I think that's whenever you want to hit it. Like, before she extends it open again. But not after... Oh, hey, you actually have clothes. Weird. Well, you have a top. That's what I'm trying to say. Yeah, it's like slightly before she cocks it all the way back. There's like maybe 10 frames where you can hit it just right. Like whenever I swing back... It's like right as she gets to that back, the full extension of her front swing, so she can do the back swing. It's like very, maybe a third of a second window. It's not completely undoable, but it is a pretty short window for it. What's this? Oh, let me just read this while I'm getting attacked. Hang on. Dochin's Volume 2, written by Dochin in his distinctive handwriting. In the garden, I saw two girls wearing red. One was rather pretty, but the other frightened me a bit. The pretty one was playing with with, with blood-stained clothes. Why would a young girl have something like that? I know. They must have found them somewhere. There couldn't be any other reason. I'm in rare form today. Right. Whatever you say, my dude. Also, I'm pretty sure he's talking about Kareha and what's her face? Utsuki. Can't believe I forgot the person that I'd been playing this whole damn game's name for a second there. Should be able to open the shrine door here. Scared cloth. Yep, go ahead and use it. Crow disc. Ibari. We're still going to have to eventually open up the North Pavilion to get the bell to get Ayako. Large crack is weak in the bar. It could be broken with something. I don't think I have anything that would break it currently. We're probably going to have to go down to like the fish hut or something to get a bar. Maybe this way to the mulberry tree, something like that. Either way, we're going to need something to break the gate open. 
So we'll go ahead and do that. Get our stuff. Open the gate. Release the water. Whatever else Lord of the Rings reference quotes fit in there. Very sandy. I don't like sand. It's coarse, rough, gets everywhere. Oh, we got the west gate. Can't go to the shrine. This guy is right here. I assume if we pick up this item, he's going to attack us, but fuck him. We want him out of the way anyways. Spike has been driven into the corpse. Remove it? Sure, why not? Iron wedge used to break through weak areas. That's what we needed. Get your ass off me. It is kind of weird that Kareha's combo was so easy to do, but it feels like Sayako's has like a rhythm to it. Also, I just noticed if you look whenever I use this health here, watch the bar, like the colored bar at the top here. See it changed to blue? So that's our health status. I just noticed that. That's cool. Get off me. Asshole. Now you're double dog dead. Okay, so. Yeah, see it's yellow right now, but if I meditate. Cool, I figured something out and it only took five hours. <laughs> yeah, now it's blue. Okay, so we're not green status, we're blue status whenever we're full. Something is written in blood, it looks like a woman's writing. The mountain path, what goes up must come down. The bigger they are, the harder they hit in the balls. Or something like that, I don't know. Something is written in blood, it looks like a woman's writing. Mountain path, monkey see, monkey kill. I... okay. <laughs> Is there going to be anything out this way? I feel like no, but at the same time, if there's more, like, writings or anything, I kind of want them. So, that's just flat out broke there. There are spells and stuff. Let me just sack ya. It's kind of hard to see for the second swing, but I'm very surprised that I'm actually getting it as well as I am. Yeah, we're just gonna go ahead and use that for safety's sake. And he would have probably just killed me right there. Wouldn't have surprised me. Yeah, we're gonna make sure your ass is dead. Banish demons and all evil spirits. That would have been really embarrassing if he just immediately killed me right on the spot there. Like, damn. Go through all of Korea's parts just for him to go, like, bop and fucking destroy me. Come here, buddy. First, hold that thought. Because Vessel. Actually, I should probably get to using some of these. They'll help a lot. I assume we're going to get a lot more if we play as what's-her-face here. Except the spider is not really doing its thing. Summon him. Go, spider. Attack him, Spidey. Oh, this is embarrassing. 
You were the chosen one, Spidey. You were supposed to help. Okay, you're bleeding all over the place, so you were actually dead. Corpse lies here. Its skin is as pale as a ghost. Well, that's lovely. It's a hole in the floor, but all that is visible is darkness. Okay. Makes sense. Let's see. Sinin Seca. Powerful spell piercing an enemy with icy shards again. About the only thing that I know that's close to that is like Sinbun Sakura from like Bleach. Because, uh. What's his face? Captain Kuchiki uses him. What was his first name again? God, I always forget his first name. It's, uh. I know Rukia is his adopted sister, I think, but. God, what was his name? Because their last name is Kuchki. It was, uh. Byakia, I think. Sounds right. Man, that guy was an asshole. <laughs> Honestly, he turned into a pretty good character, though. These must be some hellaciously good fans. Because, damn. Like, this dude is bleeding a lot. Like, I get that battle fans are actually a thing. I still find the concept really, really fucking weird. And it's like, why? But at the same time, I'm not complaining. We've already done this, so that was kind of pointless. I mean, we did get Fumon, but... Still not entirely sure what Fumon does, but... Here we are. We've got it. We did it. We did the thing. We've accomplished what we needed to do, even though we didn't need to come here, but... Hey, I wanted to see if there was more stuff, and we got more icicles, so... Which I assume was worth it. It says it's a powerful spell, so I'm, go I'm going with the assumption that it's a powerful damn spell. The game itself is like, yeah, it's, uh, it's really fucking good. Meanwhile, the spiders are called basically, like, waste crap like <laughs> not good so it tells you that they're not good but then for the icicles it's like yeah this shit's badass you'll like it is there somewhere down here or is this just a pathway just a path like a little loop path that's weird but whatever it works guess we can go ahead and open this up with the, what was it called? The wedge. But what about Big and Biggs and Jesse? Honestly, that's another game that I need to play again. Final Fantasy VII. Both the original and the remake. I, I like the remake. It was pretty good. Although I got the feathered glove on Tifa, and that just basically made fights a joke after a bit. I don't know if it was the feathered glove, but the one that makes her like whip around enemies, hitting them like eight times or something, that glove was fucking good, and I liked that move. Like Tifa became basically my main party member after she got that shit. Somebody's banging on the door. I see something over here. No, just me. Got it. Oh, I know why you die now. Here we go. Get him, Spidey. Bite his ass. Get off. 
off me, you asshole. Okay. So, I think we should be getting closer to the point where we meet Koreha, or not Koreha, Utsuki at this point. Yeah, her. Though I don't exactly remember it happening like this. There was a bit more eavesdropping going on before the guy was trying to eat her face. Well, that's weird. Second hit keeps missing. Kind of strange. Oh well. As long as he's dead. Where you at? Like hidden up in here. Hang on a second. Hold on to that thought. Let me just grab this spike that's laying right there. Are you all right? Oh, yes, I think so. Thank you. I am yeah, I definitely Utsuki. don't recall it happening like I that. I live in the shrine, not far from here. I'm Sakuya. What are you doing here? I'm looking for my father. He's the elder priest of the shrine. My sister and I right came on. from the mountain, but I lost her. It's not safe to be Oh, alive. believe me, I know your entire story. At this point. I wish I could help you find your sister, but... Here, take this. It will help you. Yes, take my talismans. Oh, it looks similar to the one father uses. Your father is the priest, correct? Yeah, he's the asshole that everyone warns you about. My father gave this to me. You may find it useful. I assume this is the level 3 Thank cloth. You. Please. Be That'll let us in the pavilion. And thank you. Take care. 